Good morning, everyone. This is Max. Um, as you can see, we're still working on Albert Einstein. This is going to be for WIP 9. Um, let's see. We were working on his hands last, so that's what I want to continue working on. Um, I don't feel very good today, so my voice is kind of, I don't know, weird. At least I hear it weird. Um, so I probably won't, well, I don't think I've been talking very much in the past few uh, videos anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, his hands are taking quite a long time. Um, if you've watched the last, you know, couple videos, you'll see that it takes a long time to do hands. Um, it's not very easy to do, not very easy to render, but the, you know, the more time you take on it, the better they'll look. Um, I already see something here bothering me right there. I'm staring at it right now. But uh, anyways, we'll go ahead and fix that too. Um, but yeah, I still need to work on his tonal value. I don't, I'm just not happy with that. Um, I know it looks a little different on video. Um, yeah, she looks okay on video, but me looking at it um, in person, I'm just not very happy with it. Um, but, you know, that's me. I'm a perfectionist. So, but yeah, we'll go ahead and continue working on uh, Albert Einstein then. Uh, let me just start on some music and we'll get started. I really do need to take the time and make a new playlist. Mm -hmm. It's alright. But yeah, I was sitting here uh, thinking about my next portfolio because this is my second to last portrait for my first portfolio. So I don't think I'll start. I'll be starting my new portfolio maybe another few months, maybe like next year or so. Uh, it frees me up to do other projects that I've been meaning to get to, but haven't had the chance. Um, but I do. Um, want my next portfolio to be a little different. Um, my intentions weren't always to be a portrait artist. Um, somehow it just ended up that way. Uh, I only started drawing faces and people to get good practice on proportions because I was really, really bad with it when I first started drawing. But uh, but yeah, for some reason, it kind of got, I got stuck doing it since 2009, and I've gotten a lot better at doing people, and I think I'm basically pretty much known as a portrait artist. But um, but no, I want to do more like illustrations too, you know, I want to throw a little adventure in it. Um, so I sat here and did some doodles of, you know, things that go through my brain on a regular basis. Um, but I'm going to show you how my doodles actually really look. So, I don't know if you can see it on camera. There you go. So, this is how my doodles actually really look. You probably, some people probably can't even make out what I'm doing. It's something only I can probably make out. But, yeah, these are actually four separate doodles. So, yeah. So I'm not always an artist. I doodle too. But this is where it starts. It starts with the little doodles. And from there I get, you know, this is just a small picture of the big picture. I just doodle it down just to, you know, have an idea. 
And so I guess it's, you can call this my brainstorming stage where I just put shapes and lines down. And from there, it, you know, turns into a picture, a vision. And I think, uh, I think it's safe to say that's a, a good exercise for your brain, um, just to get your thoughts, your you know, visions, or just just to get it out, put it on paper, and then when you see it physically, it's a little different, you know, from seeing it in your mind. When you can see it physically down, then you start to make out what the real big picture is, and that helps me. Um, it helps me, you know. Uh, think better, you know, it gives me more clarity. Because sometimes in my head, I see this perfect picture, but when I go to put it down, you know, it becomes a disappointment because it's not like exactly how I see it in my head. So, I don't know, putting it down on paper like this kind of humbles me too at the same time. So, I have my limits. Um, everyone has their limits, so... But yeah, sometimes I like to just doodle. I'll just take a piece of paper and just doodle. But yeah, so it's a good practice, you know, especially for if you're like me, who if ha every time I have an idea or whatever, I would just like lay in bed awake, just thinking about that idea, just obsessing over it. And, and that's why I always joke that my, you know, my brain, my mind, is actually a curse. It's not a gift. <laughs> you know, it's it's more like a curse to me because it would consume me sometimes. But yeah, so here's an idea. Just doodle your thoughts. You know, do it once a day. It's very healthy. All right. Back to Einstein. So... Um, what I was saying is this right here is bothering me because that doesn't look natural. If you look at his other fingers, that is not natural. It shouldn't be that long. Just comparing it to just this, see how you can only see that much of the perspective? Well, this one is in a completely different angle the way I have it uh, elongated like that. So that's why I say to practice on your angles because... It won't flow. See, like someone like me, who's a perfectionist, I can just look right off the bat and see that's wrong. That's out of place. And um, But yeah, that's why it's very important to practice angles. Um, I think that, that was the point I was trying to make, is uh, make sure that your angles are all consistent throughout the drawing, or else it'll look off. Um, but yeah. Train your eyes to see things in different perspectives. Very important for, you know, if you want to do photorealism or hyperrealism. So you have to learn to train your eyes uh, to see things in different perspectives. Very, very important. Because then you'll get someone like me, like I said, who's a perfectionist. I will see that. And for me, that's a deal breaker. <laughs> you just have one little off thing and that's it. It's over. more about right right about there see that's a huge difference um, from there to there that's a good about quarter of an inch
<clears throat> See, I make mistakes too. <laughs> and you know what? Sometimes when you're working on something for so long, like, you know, that's why I try to keep my sessions no more than two to three hours. Three hours is even pushing it for me um, because everything starts to just look like it's just merged together and and then I can't tell when I'm making mistakes because I've been staring at it for so long and so <clears throat> when it gets like that I usually you know do about a couple hour sessions take a break if I have the energy or you know or I'm in the right state of mind to do art again, I'll come back and do another whip. But otherwise, I like to sleep on it and then come back and look at it with the fresh, you know, fresh eyes, fresh mind. And then you'll start to see all the mistakes that you did. And it helps. You'd be amazed how many mistakes I make. wrong maybe you gotta figure it out it's a puzzle you can't get mad if you can't figure it out you have to sit there and figure it out the levels get harder and harder Much better. Mm. <laughs> Baby, take a break from the game.
brush. You got your own brush. All right, I've reached my 30 minute mark, so I'm gonna end the uh, video here and I will come back with, uh, to continue with uh, Whitman.